Starting on Wednesday, there will be a celebration of disability arts and culture. It's 11 days of multi-venue events scheduled around the city. And ABC 7's Karen Myers here with Lauren. All of this this morning. Good morning, Karen. Good morning, Stacey and Ben. Bodies of work has something for everyone, including theater, dance, films, literature, and performance arts, with various perspectives from people with different disabilities. Bodies of Work starts May 15th through the 25th at different institutions around the city. And we are showing the work in, in mainstream venues as well as in grassroots venues. Terry Standoff, Associate Professor at University of Chicago's Disability Studies, is the director of this event. The Bodies of Work began, from what I've heard, this was before my time, in 2002. And it was a group of uh, nonprofits and arts organizations. They put together a festival in 2006. So that took four years to come together. And that was a 10 day festival. This is the second Body to Work Festival. We have um, national and internationally known artists. We have a company um, called Back to Back. Theater from Australia. And we have um, an artist named Brian Lobel. Oak Park based Momenta Dance Company will be part of Body to Work. They have dancers with and without disabilities. Anina Kenny is the associate director. We do a little bit of everything um, modern, classical ballet, jazz, contemporary. Anina says integrated dance is a team effort. And it requires a lot of communication and, and open-mindedness. We're really hoping that the disability community comes out to enjoy work that's made by and about people with disabilities. The festival is open to the general public. There is a charge for some events. To get the schedule and locations for a body of work, you can go to our website, ABC7. Chicago.com, click more, and then disability issue. I'm going. Looks like a and beautiful production. Yeah. There's so much happening. Yeah. Right. Exciting. Really nice, too. Thanks for opening our eyes. A new option for all of us this week. Thank you for that, Karen.